Hi everyone, today we're going to be painting this miniature, which is a mini I made of my character Tala from our Shadowrun campaign, and I made this with Hero Forge. And uh, this is actually the uh, first of their like detail plastic, um, so I know they've got a newer version. So I started off by going in and painting the face and kind of all of the skin. Uh, that way I could kind of really get in um, like around the chin and neck area and all that stuff. And then I also just went ahead and did the hands and any exposed skin, which is just really the face and the hands. <laughs> uh, so next up I used a blue base to do the jeans. Um, and I did find that it was a little difficult painting this uh, just because it is a, a bit translucent. Uh, so probably in the future, if you get a have a translucent mini you are planning on painting, uh, it would be good to base it. And I probably should have based this one, uh, but I do know their newer plastic is a dark material. So there you go, there's the jeans based in. And that's where I realized I forgot to paint the ears. So I went back and painted the ears. Alright, uh, so pretty much all of the rest of the miniature got based in black. Uh, the, the character had very dark hair and I knew she, I had designed it where she was wearing like a leather jacket and uh, kind of biker boots. Uh, so doing a black base seemed like the best idea. And looking back on it, probably the easiest thing may have been to go ahead and have just done a really quick base of black on the entire miniature and then have gone in with the skin tone and the blue for the blue jeans. Uh, that would have saved just a little bit of time and I wouldn't have had to have been quite as careful with the black paint. Uh, and that's something that if you know you have a miniature that's going to be primarily one color, you can actually just go through and just do a really rough uh, base coat of that color and also that will help tie that color in through the rest of the miniature because it will still even if you do another base coat or other layers of paint that will still be a little bit there underneath the paint um, so it kind of helps tie all of the colors together a little bit so yeah there was a lot of black <laughs> paint on this miniature There you go, that's the miniature based in. And I didn't base the, uh, or I didn't do a base coat on the base of the miniature yet. That's kind of always the last thing that I do. All right, so next I used, uh, this is a new kind of paint that I'm trying out that a friend got me. And this is a, it's a gray, but it has a little bit of a bluish tone. So I'm just going through and dry brushing uh, the jeans and then I ended up deciding after seeing how it looked on the jeans I actually did a base uh, dry brushing technique on the jacket as well uh, that just again it helps kind of tie in some of the colors and doing that dry brushing just picks up a little bit of the texture and um, some of the highlights along the jacket uh, all right and here I am going in and painting the white for the eyes I always go in and paint um, I do the skin and then I do the white of the eyes because I'll do a little messy uh, and then I'll go back in and do the iris and come back with the skin tone. Alright, so you saw me pick up a uh, brass color there and I'm just doing the uh, studs on the jeans and now I'm going in and uh, I am doing a, another dry brush with a brown kind of wash color. Uh, to do the hair. So it's still a very dark uh, brown, um, has that black undertone, but uh, is distinct from the jacket. All right, so I'm taking this chainmail silver and I am doing a dry brush on all the studs on the jacket. Uh, that was a cool feature of this jacket. It had those leather studs. All right, and now I'm going through with this brown and I'm going to do the belt. I did have to actually go back through and do some touch up of the straps of the belt uh, and now I'm actually going through and doing the silver studs on the belt as well as the belt buckle in silver and the watch. Uh, and coming up next I go in and do the irises uh, 
so this is this part and I'll do this and then I will go back through and touch it up with the skin tone uh, but actually before I did that I went through and I took a very light skin tone and just got did all of the highlights on the skin so top of the nose top of the ears and hand all right now i'm going through and i decided to put the stripe down the front of the jacket and realized that didn't really work and then i tried uh decided okay i'm going to do the laces i did the laces in this light stone color uh, and I actually ended up using that same stone color to do two stripes down that uh, gray strip I made on the jacket. And that actually made it kind of make sense and look really good. So there you go. There is the finished miniature. I went ahead and painted the base, just a, a plain gray. I'm uh, really happy with how it came out. And a lot of this was just doing dry brushing, just a base coat and dry brushing. And that can kind of get you a really long way. So I'll go ahead and throw in some a uh, little bit better close-up pictures of the miniature here for you at the end. I want to give a special thanks to all of our patrons, especially Sean, Lainey, Arvi, and William. Uh, welcome William, our newest uh, patron at the shout out level and above. If you're interested in checking out our Patreon and joining us on our campaign, you can check out the link at the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give us a thumbs up and let us know if there's any miniatures you want to see or you've got any questions about uh, kind of how I painted something in this video and I'll be happy to chat with you more in the comments. Alright, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.